Gravity is a constant force downwards. In space, there is no gravity, since us humans are used to a downward acceleration of 9.8 meters per second per second, the lack of that can cause serious medical problems. Prolonged microgravity can weaken muscles and bones, as well as cause eye problems. Clearly, if we ever want to travel through space, then we need to figure out a way to make artificial gravity. Despite what your favorite science fiction movie might lead you to believe, it is very tricky to supply a constant downward force. In order to achieve what these movies portray, a global sense of down across the entire ship, the ship would need to constantly accelerate up. This isn't as easy as you think. If you were using a conventional rocket, you would constantly need to burn fuel. After a while, you would run out of fuel and therefore gravity. Even if fuel wasn't an issue, you wouldn't be able to maneuver as easily as they depict in these movies. This is because you have to constantly go up. A popular method that more realistic flicks use to get gravity is centrifugal force. If you've been on a zero gravity ride, you know the weird feeling of being pushed against the wall. This feeling of force is caused by inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object to keep moving in the same speed and direction that it was already moving in. Being moved around in a circle is being pulled off of that straight path. That causes an outward force in the circle. If tuned correctly, the centrifugal force can feel like Earth's gravity. There is a problem, though. After getting off these rides, you may remember throwing up. Okay, you remember other people throwing up. The outward centrifugal force of a rotating circle is directly proportional to its radius. This means that a half-sized circle with an equal amount of rotations per minute will have half gravity. If a rotating circle had the radius of a human body and you stood in it, your feet would feel normal gravity while your head would feel no gravity. Lightheaded has a new meaning. The result of this is that the circles would have to be rather large to feel comfortable. Also, there are some weird effects coupled with living in a big rotating circle. If you moved fast enough with or against the rotation of the circle, you would feel more or less gravity respectively. This is because you would be increasing or decreasing your rotations per minute, an important factor in centrifugal force. Also is the Coriolis effect. This effect is what makes hurricanes on Earth. As air from the south moves north, it moves into a zone of slower rotation, but it retains its motion, so it moves ahead of the Earth's rotation. Air from the north has an opposite effect. This creates the rotating storm. This effect would also be present on a rotating circle. If you drop something from really high up, it'll seem to move sideways because it isn't moving as fast as the ground below it. What about weird methods like making gravitons? Unfortunately, gravitons are only theoretical gravity particles, and we have no idea how to manipulate them. Overall, our best bet for artificial gravity is rotating rings. While the physics may be atypical, centrifugal force is the most practical. <laughs>